take a little bit of a break from the cosplay build, mostly because I no longer have anything remotely resembling a deadline for it, and that'll give me a chance to plan a couple of things out a little better. So, in the interim, I'm going to kick back over to actually building models for a minute or five. We're going to start with the Star Trek Discovery USS Enterprise 1701 in 12500 scale from Polar Lights. This is not the lighted version. As you can see, a lot of parts here. Some good detail. Most of the detail will be brought out even better by the decals, but considering this thing is roughly half again the size of the previous 12500th kit, it'll still make an impressive little model in and of its own. Plenty of clear parts if one did want to light this, and I've seen some lighted ones on the web. This one won't be lit, but we will be going with the uh, full Aztecs that are detailed out on the uh, kit box. So, at this point, likely time to get started. Okay, with little pre-painting, I deemed necessary has been done. On the clear parts, I went in with some Citadel Transparent Red, backed it with white on the insides, or Transparent Blue, and backed it with white on the insides. And on the red parts, I went ahead and did the, out, the exposed surfaces as well. On the deflector housing and dish, I've gone in with a brass color this point, eh, it's time to start subassembly work. Alright, at this point, subassembly work is done. I did wind up gluing these little bits into place just to keep them from coming off. I do still need to go in with some gunmetal and paint the ends of the caps. But other than that, we are basically ready for decals. Well, ran into a little problem during decaling. Namely, these decals here which are supposed to go on the insides of the nacelle struts, I accidentally put on the outsides of the nacelle struts. What you're seeing here is a copy I had I printed up on some blank decal paper from a scan I made of the original decals. This, ladies and gentlemen, is why I do this. Just in case I make a mistake. All right, after the little hiccup with the Aztecs earlier, I can safely say I've got all the decals on, and we're going to call the build of the 12500th scale USS Enterprise from Discovery done. As you can see, once you got the Aztecs on, it re the model really, really pops. I mean, even my screw-ups in the insides of the nacelles, or nacelle struts, I should say, don't really show, which is good. I freely admit, I did not use some of the nacelle decal mar detail markings. Those are bits, those are, were painted in with uh, Citadel's Agrax Earthshade, but 
for the most part it is the kit decals right down to the registry underneath the saucer I like the fact that you've got the phaser banks on the top where you would see them on the refit yet on the bottom mimicking how you see things in the original series you've got your photon tubes and the phaser banks right there by the lower sensor dome whoops looks like I uh, screwed up and caught a decal number there oh well I never claim to be perfect at this all in all builds up right around eight inches long which makes her considerably larger than the previous 12500th Enterprise. But given that this version is also larger than the previous version of the original series Enterprise, that's not surprising. I'm very happy with how this little guy looks. And before I start rambling, or ramble even more, I'm going to stick some stills at the end of this, and thank you all for watching.